I envision that for God, a hundred thousand people, sometimes singing in uh, harmony, sometimes in unison. Glory, glory. I said, well, you know, how much does the earth cost? <laughs> think of, think it's about not a bad question. But but how much I, is the earth worth? Yeah, right what now? is what is the Everything. earth worth? What is all yeah. the things on earth? Yeah, and it's saying we can't buy it. We couldn't make enough money to buy the earth, right? So that means we made money. So if money is the key to all people's happiness and will solve everything and everyone's doing things for money, let's just make more money. But it's not about making more money. It's about keeping poor people poor and rich people rich. Oh God Almighty, we lift our hands and give you praise. Okay, why? Why am I running for president? Is to be in service. Not service to my my own ego. Uh, you know, I feel like God says to me, like, haven't I given you enough? And I, I gave you an ego that helped you overcome all these, you know, roadblocks and smoke screens and people telling you what you can't do. Now you need to realize when you're doing things for your ego and when you're doing things for me. This is like God. The, what I feel God is saying to me because uh, it, it really irritates me when people say God told me to tell you <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very like mindful with this kind of wording this I'm saying I have a feeling that that's what God is saying for me to be in service so the ultimate service position is leader of the free world to be the glory, glory oh god almighty man no one outside of our country should be able to see these debates this is family business right here this is only for <laughs> america to see we lift our hands and give you praise um and that's going to go into something we'll talk about later because i'm building a monastery i'm uh, building a, a monastery that will be then be the future of uh monasteries this <laughs> why would i listen to you you don't even ask me for any advice i'm the most successful person i know so oh god almighty we lift our hands and give you praise just that was that was the paradigm shift for me i use that word a lot i like that I like paradigm shift. It's one of my favorite words. Glory, glory, oh God Almighty. The the songs that we're doing at uh, Sunday service is basically my book of hymns for the future gospel university that I'm creating, where I've envisioned and will manifest a 200,000 seat stadium circular with a hundred thousand gospel singers and people will go to this university and they will train the way you know a russian olympic swimmer you know a picture like they would be in the pool six days a week at least if, or we're gonna have to use solar power and i said i don't and please you know don't take this as any offense <laughs> i don't like solar panels i feel that they're part of still of what Edison's idea was. I don't feel like they're really in line with what Nikolai Tesla really wanted to do with alternative current. We get into the whole Tesla and what Edison did to take Tesla down and the fact the world would probably be free by now if, Te if Tesla wasn't basically destroyed by the media that Edison controlled and the propaganda that Edison controlled. Muhammad hit the market, I think that's who it was, and brought money because before it was slave and trade. The movie, there, our existence would be pre-COVID, post-COVID. And so as the Titanic is crashing and sinking and Rome is falling, there's got to be this new civilization like the end of Tron where everything starts to light up and it's been under this like dark cloud. So you know, God is using me and he has a calling, you know, in my life to make the world better for all people like people. And then it's like my like this, like my head popped back and the spirit jumped out. I want to go to Japan. I just want to go to Japan because Japan is like a way that people treat. There isn't like this systemic racism embedded in every single individual that's inside of the place like in America. Uh, black, white, anything. There's a systemic uh, white white supremacy. Like I'm the second wealthiest black man in America. 
I'm the 78th wealthiest man in America.